Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Any Ten Men. I'm Brian Tewitt of Morning Star Communications Network, MCM Ministries, bringing to you the love of the Lord throughout the entire world, guiding and beaming in His love, guiding to that sweet embrace of the Lord Jesus Christ. And welcome once again as we share of the God's love, His truth, His time right now in Jesus' precious name. We are going to be speaking to you anger versus forgiveness today. We're going to be in Ephesians chapter 4. Ephesians chapter 4, and you do put your finger in there as well as grab a clean sheet of notebook paper and a pen and paper. We're going to be doing some tap dancing through the scriptures. But let's go before the throne of God and pray. Dear Jesus, we love you. We lay our hearts before you are the reason why we live from the secrets of our heart. We thank you for the unity of the Holy Spirit to be of one mind, one judgment of Christ. We thank you for your love, your truth, how your truth sets us all free. We thank you for this day. Wherever you, you are in the world, whether it's your evening time, morning time, middle of the night, we lift up our prayers, friends, and forgiveness as you pour down you new, you new mercies of this new day upon us. We lift up our, our cry unto you that we want to know you ever more every day, stronger than we knew you yesterday. For in the matchless name of Jesus, Jesus' name. Amen. Brethren, and good day. I'm Brian Hewitt of Morning Star Communications, Dark Emerson Ministries. Our church, by the way, is live from Los Angeles, California, along with my anointed, appointed beautiful wife, Anita. We send you the love of the Lord. So let's get right into our foundation scripture this evening. Ephesians chapter 4, verses 26 and 27. Be be angry and sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. Neither give place to the devil. Neither give place to the devil. We don't give up or proclaim doom in our lives. We don't give anything, anyone, the power that Satan wants to keep us away from the love of the Lord. To guide us to that sweet embrace. To guide us to that new meaning of his truth. To guide us forever and ever in Jesus' precious name. Dear Lord, we move into the self-control that you bless us with. We move into the sweetness of your truth, how God ordained us for. Come into your truth. Come into your time. Come into the possibilities of your truth right now in Jesus precious name guide us O Lord be with us guide us O Lord for the substance of all truth James chapter 1 verses 19 and 20 wherefore my beloved my beloved brethren let every man be swift to hear slow to speak slow to wrath for the wrath of, of man worketh not the righteousness of God. We cannot be of this accord. We cannot sing to the Lord as we are angry and cursing our fellow man. Bitter and sweet do not flow from the same faucet. So we must bring up the forgiveness. Bring up with all. It doesn't mean we have to forget. We do have to take a stand. We do have to take a stand. We do have to have God caress us and bless us, marinate us with his word, from the gospel of truth to the living word of God. We sing for you, O Lord, in Jesus' precious name. Let's go back to Ephesians chapter 4, verse 32. And be ye kind one, one to another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, even as God for Christ's sake hath forgiven you. If man can forgive man, if God can forgive man, man must learn to forgive man. We sing unto the Lord his new truth. We sing unto the Lord all this time. He that is slow to anger is better than mighty, and he that ruleth his spirit than he that taketh a city. It's Proverbs 16, verse 32. We go into the mighty flow of the Lord Jesus Christ. 
we move into his truth, his love, his purpose. How he guides us to that sweet embrace of the new us. Guides us to that sweet embrace of the master's name of Jesus. Dear Lord, we love you. We'll lay our hearts before you are the reason why we live from the secrets of our heart. We thank you, O oh Lord, for this day. We thank you, O oh Lord, for the truth that you give to each and every one of us. We thank you, O oh Lord, for the substance of the meaning as we focus on our reality of our redemption with God. Why is that? Because we are redeemed. Let us focus on our reality of our redemption with God. Let us flow into the manner that God wants us to be, to be in the fight, in the fight, and to take that stand. Guide us, O oh Lord, to that sweet smelling sound. Guide us, O oh Lord, to that substance of all truth. Guide us, O oh Lord, of this time and for this time. For in Jesus' precious name, amen. Yeah, touch not thine anointing and do that prophets no harm. Those have, that have come up against my wife and myself, we have forgiven you. We know how to drive our enemies crazy. We forgive you and love you in the name of Jesus, but we have not forgotten. We have not forgotten. From those who call themselves promoters, God, whatever you wish to call yourself, God is slowly turning his wrath upon you. To those who endure so much sexuality, you are a stench to the Lord. You stink. Look what happened to Sodom and Gomorrah. It could happen to wherever you are. And we sing of the Lord. You sing of this time. You sing of this truth. We sing of the sweet embrace of the Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' precious name. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things have passed away. Behold, old things are become new. Become renewed. You are the regeneration of the light of the Lord. You are his movement. You are going to change this world in Jesus' precious name. Guide us, O Lord. Of this truth. Guide us, O Lord, of this substance that we have. Guide us, O Lord, of this time. Your endless rhyme bringing us to that sweet embrace. Guiding us forever and ever to that time. God's endless, endless rhyme. And we sing of the Lord. We sing of His truth. We sing of His fun right now to become new. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away, behold, old things are new. Again, that's 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. Psalms 37, verse 8. Cease from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. I grew up in the Northeast, in Western New York. I spent a lot of time up in Canada. And, and there a small town of Pennsylvania a young man walked into an Amish church and killed everyone in that church the Amish the Quakers went to that funeral of the of the victim the murderer and basically it was a day of forgiveness a day that God asked them to show the demonstration of forgiveness we must use our prayers to pray in the spirit to lift all and all, especially to that what has happened in the United States Midwest. We must bring to the matter of the con conclusion, to fear the holy reverence of God, to bring into the substance of all truth, to guide us to that sweet embrace of God's love. God's purpose, God's strong character that he wishes to bring to you. Come into the Lord. Come into the Lord.
going to the purpose of the now of faith. Anger versus forgiveness. We must forgive. We must move. Don't let anger take control. But yes, take a stand. Take a stand in every legal manner that you have and shut down those that have gone against God's purpose. Your son holy reverence to this time God's endless rhyme Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31 but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength they shall mount up with wings as eagles they shall run and be not weary and they shall walk and not faint you have the strength and the character of the Lord Jesus Christ living inside of you you have that purpose that depth, the new spirit within your own new body, that new swine skin. The, the Lord has removed the, the old stony edges of the old heart away and brought in your new heart. He has forgiven your sins and thrown them into the sea of forgetfulness. Mark 11, 25. And when you stand praying, forgive. For if you also against any that your Father also which is in heaven may forgive your trespasses. Your, your trespasses. And again back into Ephesians chapter 4 verse 26. Be angry and sin not. Let, let not the sun go down upon your wrath. One of our foundation scriptures. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. Go into this life Go into this liberty. You're going to have many souls come up against you, but you are the righteousness of God. You're going to have many, many areas of deceptions coming against you, but say this again, I am the righteousness of God. I have the strength to do this, to be of the mind of Christ. To sing of the Lord Jesus Christ, saying, Lord, take me, love me, I'm yours. Bring me to your mountaintop. Bring me to your, your valleys to strengthen me. Guide me into the sweet embrace of the new you. Guiding our love. Guiding our truth. Guiding this time. From Jesus' precious name. Brethren, it's time to sing of that new truth. It's time to sing of his love, his purpose. To guide us ever some more to the depth of God's love. So from fettest creatures we desire increase that thereby beauty's rose might never die. For as the Lord brings his hand upon your heart and changes you, move into that substance of all poetry the poetry called eternity. The poetry that we have with the embrace of from, that God, that Jesus Christ gave us from the cross, died and rose again so that we may have the inheritance of eternity in the kingdom of heaven. Sharing in the glory of his time, sharing in the glory of his purpose to guide us ever so strong every day guiding to that moment guiding to that purpose that we have <clears throat> forever and ever are we going to sing of this time are we going to sing of this purpose right now in Jesus' name. Brethren, we are in the end times. We are bringing into this truth. We are bringing into this master's, the master's name of Jesus into our lives and to those around us to be a witness to those that need the love. And to go and share the gospel of truth to the four corners of the world traveling upon God's whispers of his wind. Proverbs 15, verse 1. 
and soft answer turneth away wrath, while grievous words stir up anger. Philippians chapter 4, verse 7. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Move into God's love. Romans 12, verse 2, And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is in that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Do not let the ways of man bring you down, but ye transform by the renewing of your mind, that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. And do not bring into any accordance of his truth. How this shall be, how this shall go, how this will flow in his master's name of Jesus. Guide us to that sweet embrace. Guide us to that ever powerful might to be strong in the Lord. And it goes in the strength of the unity of the Holy Spirit to be of one mind, one judgment of Christ. Lord, I want to know you. Lay my hearts before you are the reason why we live in the secrets of our heart. We thank you for the unity of the Holy Spirit to be of one mind and one judgment of Christ. To send and to bring the peace of the Lord throughout each and every one of us. Guide us, O God. Guide us, O Lord, to the healings that we have. Guide us, O Lord, to the, to the message that you have for each and every one of us to go forth and proclaim the living word of God. Brethren, it is that time of the broadcast that we do remind our viewers to bring, as well as our ministers and bishops in, in various mission fields we have spread out throughout the entire world. But we want you to bring two or three unsafe friends per broadcast. My wife is on 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So what that means to those who don't know what Pacific Standard Time is in your part of the world, just think of the west coast of North America. We're in California, Los Angeles, California. So my wife comes on at 3 p.m. I come on at 6 p.m. And there's other times that we are working back to as our, as, as our blessed, busy schedule allows us to have. We are going to share your, your invitation to eternity. To turn your life over to the Lord right now. I ask you all to do your best to share in these words. Repeat after me. Dear Lord, I know I am a sinner. And I lift, I lift up all forgiveness unto you. I lay myself on the altar of you, O Lord. Take me, love me, I'm yours. Cast away all, all of my sins. And yes, I do forgive those who ought against me. As I seek the strength of you, O Lord, to guide me into a new life, into a new love, and to destroy any spirit that complacency out of my life and her surroundings, and to move me into your arms, into my knees, in Jesus' precious name. If you pray that prayer, you are born again. That's my wife praising your name in the background. I am lifting your name, but most important, the angels of heaven are singing your name before the throne of God. It doesn't get any better than that, whether it's the AM hours we're living or the PM hours right here in North America. The angels of heaven are singing your name before the throne of God. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! And that's a man of Sanita Hewitt in the background, just praising your name, praising God. For you being born again. We come into all of the strength that God gives us. Romans 6, 6. Knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him, that the body of our sin might be destroyed, that henceforth we should not serve sin. The old man that what, what we were, which was sin, is no longer, is no longer controlling us. Is no longer destroying us. It's moving us upon the cross, crucifying ourselves daily, dying daily with Christ, 
and being a witness and saving those that need Christ, no matter what part of the world we, where we are going to, preaching in, and most important, brethren, your prayers are connected through the God's prayer vine, which can easily pray into someone else's spirit in another country, and you may never meet that person. That is the importance of prayer. The importance of prayer. Now, Colossians chapter 1, verse 2. To the saints and the faithful brethren in Christ, which are at Colossae, grace be unto you, and peace from our God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ. From God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ, He sends you the peace. He sends you the depth of forgiveness, to give and to share unto all. It brings to all <clears throat> the matter of His time, God's endless time to share and to flow and to grow. <coughs> In Jesus' precious name. Brethren, it's time for that movement of God to flow from your hearts and your eyes and your lips and your and your mannerisms. It's time for all to receive, those who have received Christ tonight, this morning, this day, those that are still newbies in Christ, get yourself into faith-based Bible-believing church, midweek Bible study, Sunday, service of the saints, and fellowship, fellowship, fellowship. We also invite you to get to know us because we want to get to know you at BrianTewitt.com. BrianTewitt.com. The name of our ministry is Morning Star Communication Network, MC Ministries. We have the Bible Way LA, your, your church, 24 hours, 7 days a week, over various technical broadcasts, our JCast Live over BrianTewitt.com under the Watch Us Now link. You can also watch us at Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Tumblr, Twitter many facets that we have confirmed over 200 countries have watched our broadcast. And we thank you for our brothers and sisters in Asia that translate our services and teach and preach and give to the lost, to those that were lost, now found in Jesus' precious name. <coughs> Guide us, O oh Lord, to this time. Guide us, O oh Lord, that we are, we are calling you now to become part of our ministry. You out there in any country, you don't have to be in California with Anita and the man, or in the United States, wherever you are, we are inviting you to become a part of our ministry. We want you to come and to be and to flow and to grow and to change the world. And as you plant your financial seed into our ministry, Jesus will show you a vision right now found in John chapter 4, verse 35. That you don't have to wait four months from now for your harvest to be white. Your harvest is white as we now. Plant your seed into this ministry, and thousands and thousands upon thousands of blessings will pour down upon you. That's just on one blessing. From the vision found in that scripture, we go to the manifestation. The living word of God is always pregnant, revealing the manifestation of God's glory. And then Malachi chapter 3 is birthed above your heads, that the windows of heaven will open up above you, pour down blessings upon you. That you have no room in your storehouses, plant them to keep them or save them. In Jesus' precious name. Dear Lord. Dear Lord, we love you. We love you. And we thank you for your prayer and support ahead of time. Now, there are two separate journeys you can take to send us your tithes and offerings. One is to revisit us at BrianTewitt.com, BrianTewitt.com. As well, brethren, you can and you shall move into the substance of all truth moving to the substance of all the liberties that we have, and to guide us to that sweet embrace, to guide us to that purpose, to guide us to your love. And as you go to our website, you're going to click on our contact link, and you're going to see our full name, as we said, Morning Star Communication, MCM Ministries, our address right there, and you could send, make out your checks payable to Morning Star Communication Network or MCM Ministries. We are your 501c3 certified church here in the United States. Brethren, also, right above that is our, our donation link. You can send us your tithes and offerings right there. We'll get it immediately. And after the first of the year, you'll get your um, letters of, of, of thanks for your personal records and your tax purpose as well. We thank you, God, for this time. We thank you, O oh God, for your love, for your truth. Your truth sets us all, all free. Brethren, 
move into the life of the Lord, move into this time, move into the sweet embrace of the Lord Jesus Christ. Come, and to be free. Let, do not let time pass you by. Christ is always around you and inside of you, and He wants you to be of one mind, one judgment of Christ. Let's go before the throne of God and pray. Dear Jesus, we love you. We lay our hearts before you are the reason why we live from the secrets of our heart. We thank you for the unity of the Holy Spirit to be in your one mind and one judgment of Christ. We thank you for your truth, your love, your love has set us all free. We thank you for being a, a witness to all of us, guiding us to that sweet embrace. As we lift up our cry unto you, that we want to know you ever so more, every day stronger than we knew you yesterday, then pour down your wisdom and discernment upon us. We thank you for the new mercies of this day, O oh Lord, for the matchless name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Brethren, this does conclude our broadcast for this evening. Again, I'm Brian Tudor Benita and the man, and on behalf of my anointed upon your beautiful wife, we thank you for your time until next time. Just stay up to date with all of our news and information of our exciting crusades and passage conference coming to your part of the world at BrianTewitt.com. BrianTewitt.com. We walk by faith, not by sight. Au revoir. Adios. Good day for the people.